So, uh, this is probably one of the last videos um, that I would be making. I'm just going to check up on my channel just to make sure that how far I need to cover. Yes, there we are, running a new E4. So, the handing's done. Everything's handed in now. Um, I don't know why I'll title this video. So yeah, I'm just going to do a bit of a showcase of what I've actually got within the hand in file and then I'll talk afterwards a little bit about um, what I would like to do for the degree show and what I would like to do for my art station. So, uh, is this in play? There we are. Okay. Might be a, bit, a little bit laggy because uh, this is actually a lot of meshes all at once and the lighting is purely just to make them look nice. I haven't optimized lighting at all uh, because all of these are meant for still photos. So as you can see it's running uh, pretty choppily uh, frame rate wise but that's not part of my criteria. Um, it's just to make them look good. So yeah, these are the pla these are the characters all within um, UE4 playing animations or using the, the Maya art system which I'm very glad I used. So yeah. And yeah, here's the secondary armor with all the visor stuff on. I think it's, it turned out alright. Yeah. That crotch part has been such an annoyance uh, to me trying to get that to rig properly, but you know, it looks fine on still photos. Also, uh, Habib's gun. Um, when I go to ArtStation, I'll be linking his profile because uh, I don't want to take any credit for it. It was that he's my housemate and he was working on a gun with an environment. So I wanted to. I had this run animation from UE4 and I thought it would be a waste not to do a running shot since it is, you know, troopers and stuff like that. So I just quickly imported his gun, made it, put an emissive down the barrel so it's like an energy gun. And just ran with it, uh, but I want to stress that this is I do not want it marked as it's not my work. It's just something for presentation purposes, and I did have permission from him to do so. Uh, let's just play that up again. The reason why I have it in play mode is because with the eye textures, uh, with the eye material, I am um, the there's a blur on it that's affected by screen space. So um, here we are. So these are the characters they've been working on. You can see the eyes a little bit blurred. That's dependent on screen percentage, which I have to crank up for it to work properly. If you if you can hear a noise in the background, it is most likely my fans because they start churning up. So yeah, I also have like static photos for these as well. But uh, from the crit that I got off uh, Mihai, I'm likely to go over the the lighting again. Not for this scene, but for particular photos. Uh, so I'll probably be looking at stuff like Red Dead 2 and how they lit their characters. I mean, not Red Dead 2. Um, Resident Evil 2. And see how they lit their characters, because he says that that's like, really good quality. So I'll be redoing them over again. Is the male character here? So yeah, it's working just to get the air. Uh, you know. The subsurface just—I don't know if you can see that. I'll keep it still for a second. But well, you can see the subsurface just slightly on the corners of the the head and such there. You can also see it on the hands and stuff. It's a shame it doesn't show through the ears that well all the time. Um, it is textured to do so, but it's just the lighting. Um, maybe I would have to rework a bit over it. Then here's one with a bit more dramatic lighting. So yeah, going for that full, you know, cyberpunk uh, red and blues. I also added a bit of yellow into it, just so it gets all that other stuff going along. Again, the uh, lighting's not optimized, so there's a lot of like artifacts going on uh, with the lighting. You can see these lines. I don't know how they're caused because uh, I'm not an expert when it comes to lighting. But well, from this screenshot, it looks alright. You can see that blur coming in a bit. But, yeah. Uh, this was a quick thing because I wanted to show off the static meshes as well. Um, and I thought that um, I should put a um, 
just a quick wireframe shader on it. Obviously it doesn't represent the wireframe perfectly because it's all triangulated in engine. Um, but you know, I thought it was very quick to do and it looks pretty cool and it fits the theme of blues and reds, so I uh, decided to go go with it. But when I come to the degree show, I'll probably be removing this uh, because it's eating up a lot of the performance. Because I have to double the mesh to do that, and like currently this scene adds up to like two million tries loaded all at once with crazy lighting. So yeah, with uh, crazy inefficient lighting. Yeah. The other thing I want to do uh, for degree show is do different color variations of this. So this is like the police variant. I'll do like a a navy, like navy blue and black version. Um, maybe like a spec ops black. Maybe like an army camo one. Because uh, I can easily change the color of the visors. Um, and also maybe like a construction or test variant. So yeah, uh, there'll be like quick, quick and easy refits to do. Yeah. Yeah, I've turned off some of the, the layers of the eye just so it runs a bit nicer. Okay. Yeah, so here's the eye from earlier. Um, I was showing this off weeks ago. But yeah, um, there's all the eye stuff going on uh, with the refraction and all that. This doesn't have the blur layers on uh, because the blur layers uh, start to react with this and it's also very performance heavy um, as far as I know so I decided not to put them on because I wanted to really exaggerate this uh, cone effect I built yep and then here we are is uh, the fabrics that are made for these suits I wanted to show them off as well yeah just put the wireframe on this because it's pretty full yeah anyway so yeah, I want to put like a damage in one just to show off my smart materials that I made in Designer. Uh, and this is obviously applied across the, the undersuit and all that. Uh, yeah. So this is my end of year project fully done now, really, or at least officially done for handing. Um, my next step going forward will be to make sure I get in some nice shots for... Art station and get it all presented well for Art station. So I'm probably gonna do like a some of how she's uh, in the armor without the helmet on. I'm gonna do that with him as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna rejig lighting. Probably not in this scene. Probably in a different one, just to get proper. Because this stuff's like fairly safe when it comes to lighting, and I was told I should push it a bit more. So. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next, is uh, push the lighting as much as I can uh, to really sell the uh, the character. Yeah, um, and the other thing is, is obviously the what I just mentioned earlier, with adding some colour variations, because that's very easy to do. So yeah, um, this has been my FMP project. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I'll end it off here. But it's been it's been a long couple months, a lot of work, especially in them last couple in the last week of getting everything presented nicely. Because it's something I it's something I definitely need to work on a lot more when it comes to presentation and lighting and all that other jazz. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end it off here then. It's been the uh, the 20th of May. I've just been having a break over the past couple of days, not doing any work-related stuff. So I decided I should probably make the update before um, my presentation on Wednesday. Okay, this has been the FMP. I might do progress updates on the um, different color variations that I do. But apart from that, um, this uh, vlog's now officially completed. I'd say. Okay actually going to end off.